Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick follow-up on the 12 volt battery monitor that I put on my Kia Nero. I've had it on this car here now for a couple of weeks. I actually took it off and put it on a different car on a Prius that was actually having some problems with a 12 volt battery and we managed to diagnose that that there was a dome light left on and that's what was draining it. So when we got that issue resolved, I put it back on the Nero and I've been monitoring it here for a couple of weeks. One other little update is that I managed to get it tucked underneath this little cap, which is much better than leaving this cap open. I don't really like leaving the positive terminal exposed. That's the whole point of having this here, because obviously the rest of the car, all the metal pieces are negative ground, so we don't want anything touching. So I didn't actually attach it. It's still just kind of flopping here, um, but it's attached here to the negative, and it goes underneath this little cap. I'll just show you. There you go. I'm sure I could do it better. I could cut a little notch, but I just haven't. So this is how it's attached, and I managed to route it in such a way that I can snap this shut and leave this protected. So I wanted to show you what some of the trends look like, what this particular car is doing, and I also figured out that really this 12-volt battery, despite it being from a 2022 model year, which likely was built sometime in 2021, so therefore, is you know two to three years old is still doing its thing my kia diagnostics actually say that it's still okay so i'm not really concerned with that also just looking at the voltage trend it looks pretty good so i wanted to show some of the features of this unit which really is just attach it and forget it and then you just monitor it with bluetooth you don't even have to open the hood i just monitor it from afar sometimes from inside my house but then also the features of the app First of all, the app connects automatically if your Bluetooth is on. If necessary, you can tap the chain link symbol, which turns red when it's disconnected and blue when it's connected. Once it's connected, the app will pull the monitor for saved data that was collected while the app was not connected. You get an instantaneous readout of the current voltage along with a simple diagnostic message like battery okay. If you tap on the graph at the bottom of the app, it opens up to a landscape view of the voltage trend starting with the current day. You can then navigate forward and backward in time and select a one day, seven day, or 15 day view. Tapping and holding on the graph area brings up a vertical line that lets you select a time and see the voltage at that time. This is useful for finding minimums and maximums on the graph. Here you can see that I found the minimum voltage after I shut off the vehicle to be about 12.19 volts before it recovered. Tapping the date brings up a calendar so you can quickly go back to a particular day without needing a bunch of tapping. The blue dots on the calendar days means that everything was okay that day. If there's a red dot, it indicates that the monitor felt that the voltage was too low for proper function of the 12 volt battery. In this case, those dates were when I had the battery connected to the Toyota Prius I was testing earlier. Overall, I find this a very useful tool for gauging the health of your 12 volt battery as compared to a single multimeter voltage measurement. If you think this might be useful for you, check out the Amazon link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.